Hey YouTube, this is Justin with Alternative Drummer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Avatar PDL HH191 pedal. Now this is the official Avatar pedal that you can buy for the PD705 drum pad uh, by various makers, but this is the one branded by Avatar. And uh, this pedal is designed to plug into the foot switch inputs on the Avatar PD705. And honestly, I put off buying one of these things for a long time because I kind of just assumed that using a foot switch for a bass drum would be terrible uh, because in all of my experience it has been, but I figured I would get one of these and use it as a hi-hat pedal. But then since I got it, I was like, well, I wonder what it feels like as a bass drum pedal. Anyway, since I have it, I'll check it out. And much to my surprise, it actually feels pretty darn good. And these things are only about 45 bucks on amazon.com. I'll post a link down below. Um, and you could use them, like I said, for the hi-hat pedal as well as for the bass drum pedal. Um, I already have another bass drum pedal that I've been using on this thing. It's a Yamaha uh, silent kick drum trigger. So I've been using that in trigger input number one. However, that leads me to always have to reprogram the trigger sound to match up for a kick drum uh, for that trigger input because it's not really designed by default to use the trigger input one as a bass drum. It's designed to use foot switch input one for bass drum. And like I said, I always thought that would suck but it does not suck. This thing actually feels quite good. So I may end up just buying another one so I can have the match pair to go with the avatar and just use the foot switch inputs the way it's designed to. And then I'll have four trigger inputs opened up to use for other things if I want. And the thing that I think I was most surprised about is even though it's a foot switch, it's still velocity sensitive. Don't ask me how that works. I have no idea, but if you step soft, you get a soft kick drum sound. And if you step hard, you get a harder kick drum sound. And I don't know if there's like a huge amount of variation there, maybe it's just those two, but it is velocity sensitive. In addition to that, I don't get any weird like double triggering or anything like that. It seems to be designed in such a way that when you push down, it only triggers a single time until you lift up again and then push down again. And I could even kind of play doubles on this thing, you know, not amazingly well, but decent enough. Uh, it's definitely playable. So I'm gonna do a couple of demos with this thing and show you what it's like to use. First, I'll hook it up as a bass drum pedal into foot switch input number one, and then I'll switch it over to being a hi-hat controller and use my Yamaha uh, pedal for my bass drum. So anyway, here we go. All right, so that's the PDLHH191. Pretty long name for a pretty nifty little pedal. Now, uh, final notes after I played both back to back. I do still like the Yamaha KU100 better as a kick drum pedal, so I think I am just gonna stick with that. I just feel like it has a little bit better of a bounce and I can do doubles on it better. It just feels more like a regular bass drum pedal. Whereas this, you know, still feels pretty darn good for being a switch. 
And I think if you're in a pinch and you only want to buy one pedal for the device, this is a good one to get because it'll work as a bass drum and as a hi-hat pedal. And it's pretty cheap. So anyway, good stuff again from Avatar. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my new project, which is called Mockman Mini. You can order a one-of-a-kind cassette with that link down below. Anyway, I'll see you all really soon. Have a great day. Thank you.